Hello everyone, my name is Sandeep Singh Gupta and you are watching Electric Vehicles. We released a video yesterday talking about the bounce infinity and the concept of battery swap stations that it brings in the electric scooter space. In electric motorcycle, we already have reboot. Now, why this is important is because even the government is involved in it. And therefore, there are some benefits that we as customers will be getting out of it. And there might be some roadblocks as well. Let's talk about all of that in this video. And if you happen to like it, do hit the like button, do hit the subscribe button and write us a comment. So the finance minister in her budget declared that battery swapping should be the next move of the entire electric vehicle industry. That's where the electric vehicle industry is headed, which means that those manufacturers who implement this battery swapping technology in their vehicles will get an incentive or some favors from the government. Same is the case for those individuals or companies which enter into this battery swapping business. And of course, lastly, and more importantly, we as customers are also going to be benefited. We might get some incentive out of this fame to subsidy budget that is allocated. We might get incentives into these subscription plans, these monthly subscription plans that we have to pay once we get the vehicle without the battery. Battery as a service is what she mentioned. Now there are four clear advantages to this. And uh, if you have some more, definitely let us know in the comment section. This first one is of course, the charging time will be eliminated. Second thing is that you will not have to theoretically not have to worry about range anxiety. So before you run out of your juice, you'll theoretically, you should have another swap station where you can go and exchange your depleted battery. And the third thing is of course, the upfront cost of your vehicle will be reduced. Now, of course, that uh, in a two wheeler, 40% of the cost is because of the battery pack. And the moment you eliminate the battery pack out of the equation, the cost of your vehicle reduces as we saw in the bounce infinity pricing plans that they have. And of course, there's another fourth advantage to it. Consider a situation where you have to move out of town and you're not using your vehicle for a period, uh, an elongated period, let's say one month, two month, a year, whatever, or, or lockdowns or some other personal reason when you're not able to use your vehicle, the battery pack is sitting in your vehicle, depreciating both in terms of quality and as well as uh, financially, the amount that you paid. You're not using it, right? So what happens in this new model, this battery as a service model is you open your application and uh, you, either cancel your subscription or pause your subscription, whatever the manufacturer uh, gives you. And then when you are ready to use your vehicle again, let's say after two months, three months, you just activate your subscription again. So, so these are all the good things and uh, Revolt is already working on it, of course. And then there is Bounce in Infinity and Hero Plus Gogoro partnership. All of these companies are going to utilize the advantage of being as a first mover in this space. Now, there's one more thing that we have to uh, talk about, which is the finance minister mentioned that in this battery swapping, and I'm going to quote her now, interportability standards will be formulated. What this means is that irrespective of what vehicle you have, they should all fit in the same battery pack. You might drive an Ola, I might drive an Aether, and someone might be driving a Bounce. We could all theoretically walk into, well, drive into the same swap station and get ourselves topped up. So of course, that is very important so that more number of players are interested in this battery swapping business. Otherwise, if they have to cater to just one or two companies, it's not going to make any financial sense for them. And in turn, this is going to help the EV companies us as customers and the entire EV ecosystem that we have. But there could be a cause of concern. And it is this that, see, right now, manufacturers are customizing their own battery pack in terms of the shape, the form factor and the weight. All of these they're customizing uh, depending on the vehicle design, but there could also be a slight cause of concern. You see, all manufacturers are currently designing, customizing their battery packs because depending on the form factor of the battery pack, depending on the placement of the uh, battery pack in their vehicle, the design of the vehicle will be affected. That is what leads to uh, allocating boot space, uh, distributing the weight in the vehicle, center of gravity, and even the ground clearance. All of these things depends on this one crucial factor, which is the placement and the form factor of the battery pack. Now, once that is standardized, once the government says that, well, this is, this is how your battery pack has to look, this is your vehicle has to fit in a battery pack of this shape. So will that not limit the creativity in terms of design that a manufacturer can do? Or do you think that because of this uh, limitation, the creativity of vehicle design will get a boost? What do you think? Let us know in the comment section. I for one don't want my electric vehicle, my electric scooter or motorcycle to look as generic as the other ones. I don't want electric vehicles to look as generic as our modern smartphone does. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section and uh, we'll see you again to subscribe to this channel. Go green, go electric.